Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my updated mane and tail care routine, uh, which features my new cult that I'm working with right now named Zen or Zenny. Um, and so I'll be showing you my routine and also some tidbits about him and my plan for him. So I start my routine by removing my horse's tape from the mane uh, and the tail bag from the horse's tail and also the tape from the horse's tail. Uh, and then I undo all my braids so that I can thoroughly wash them. Um, you can't really wash your horse's hair if it's braided, so this part's pretty important. So as many of you know by now, I've had Zenny, my two-year-old quarter horse gelding, for about a month. Um, I got him as a project and I intended on selling him, but I really don't think that's going to happen because he's just been a class to work with. Um, and I think he'll probably just be a performance prospect for me. Um, which is why I'm currently working on getting him started under saddle. Technically, he's been ridden one time by his previous owner, but I'm writing that off as if it never happened for my own safety's sake. After the braids are out, I will rinse off the mane and get it nice and lathered with some shampoo so that all the dirt and sweat and whatever other things the horse may have rolled in um, come out of the mane and so that it's nice and clean by the time I braid it. This also helps the horse stop rubbing its mane. Um, a lot of horses will get a lot of buildup at the, like the base of their mane and it gets itchy and uncomfortable and irritated so they'll start scratching it on the side of a fence post or their stall or wherever they can and this will end up causing their manes to get rubbed off and grow really short and all damaged so this helps prevent that and plus it feels pretty good to them too. After I've lathered up the mane really good, I'll move on to the tail and pretty much do the same thing. Um, horses will also rub their tail if there's enough buildup at the base of it, so it's really important to scrub that really good. Uh, and while I'm doing this, I let the mane sit um, with the shampoo in it, which helps dirt get kind of collected up to the top of the mane, so it's easier for me to wash it out. After I'm done leathering at the tail, I move back to the mane and rinse all of the shampoo out of it. It's really important that you get nice clean water and no suds left behind because that can cause extra buildup and a weird residue left on it and just, it's not ideal. <laughs> Once I'm sure that I've rinsed out all the suds, I grab my conditioner and comb it through the mane with my hands. I let the conditioner sit in the mane for about 5 minutes while I rinse out the tail and coat it with conditioner. It's really the same process for the mane and tail, just takes a little longer for the tail because there's more hair. Then I'll let the 
conditioner sit in the tail and move back to the main and rinse all the conditioner out of the main. Once I've rinsed all the conditioner out of the main, then I'll move back to the tail and do the same thing. While I'm doing this, I'm going to talk a little bit more about my plans with Senny and what I see for him in the future. Of course, I haven't forgotten about Penny. She's still doing wonderful and enjoying the pregnant pampering that she's getting. <laughs> but while she's been laid up, I've been trying to figure out what to do in the meantime um, while I'm waiting for her to give birth and then while I'm waiting for her fall to mature to a level where I can start working with it. I ultimately came down to the fact that I'm gonna have to find a horse to work with in the meantime. Of course, I could just sit around and wait and take care of Penny and, you know, take care of the foal after that, but I need to keep my horsemanship up to snuff and keep working at it. So it made sense that it was just time to buy another horse and look for a young prospect. I originally was looking for a horse that had a few rides on it so that I could just get right on it and have like a six week period where I was practicing for the Clint Anderson Clinician Academy, um, but that did not happen with Zen um, because he has not been ridden yet. So I'm having a colt starting experience instead, which honestly worked out really, really great. Um, and I'm having a great time doing it. So I, uh, I think this is working out perfectly. After everything's rinsed out of his mane and tail, I'll take him back over near the stalls and tie him up so that I can put some detangler in, brush it out, and then braid his mane and tail. Um, there's nothing real fancy to this, nothing's changed really. Uh, I just have some new products that you saw in my video, on um, my unboxing video from Biomane. Um, but yeah, other than that, nothing's really changed. My process still is still the same. Um, I just have a tail bag now. That's the only thing that's really changed. <laughs> so as far as training plans go for Zen, um, he's pretty much done with all of the fundamentals and cult starting groundwork in the down under horsemanship method. So next weekend, I am going to ride him for the first time. I'll be sure to document this process as much as I can. Um, hopefully by that time I'll have my GoPro up and running again. Um, but no promises because we know how that works for me. <laughs> I have a feeling the first ride is going to be pretty anticlimactic um, based on the signs that Zenny's shown me. Um, I've done the Jeffries method, which is basically you act like a drunk person and lay over the horse's back and flop around and act like an idiot um, without actually sitting on them and wrapping your legs around them. Um, and I've put the saddle on him and he, like he's done basically everything except being ridden and he's had like zero reactions to anything. It's, it's honestly as if he's been doing this his whole life. So this will be my first time ever starting a colt under saddle, um, and I won't lie, I'm, I'm pretty nervous. Even though I'm really quite certain that he's not going to do anything crazy, um, still, you know, horses are unpredictable and I know I can handle it, but I still am pretty nervous just because it's something I've never done before and I really want to do it right so that he's getting off on the right foot. Like I said, I'm pretty sure everything's gonna go pretty textbook, you know, but I still am nervous just because it's something I've never done before and I wanna make sure I'm doing right by him. So you will be coming with me and watching that whole thing. <laughs> so I finished braiding his mane and tail and what I'm doing now is I'm just taking a little extra uh, detangler and just kind of rubbing it into the braids to keep them moisturized and shiny and nice and neat. Um, I, I don't really know why I do this, to be honest. I'm just kind of saying words. Um, I like it, and that's why I do it. <laughs> And this 
the final step to this process is just putting the tail into the tail bag. I got this tail bag from Biomain um, when I did that haul. This is that tail bag from that video. Um, so far it's worked really great. I've had no issues with it and it works great for keeping flies off of Zenny and he seems to he seems to like it. It's longer than his tail is naturally so <laughs> he has a little extra fly swatting length. As far as Zenny's training goes, I don't have much else to update on that. Um, you know, stay tuned for the first ride video. I will definitely be uh, posting that, assuming nothing goes horribly wrong. <laughs> um, but if you want some more in-depth updates, like more regular updates, please check out my Instagram, which I will link in my description uh, if you're interested. And the last thing I do on these little mane and tail care days is I will oil up my horse's feet. Um, this isn't crucial to my process. I just like doing it and it makes them look nice and it just kind of feels like a nice way to end it. This has nothing to do with the mane and tail care, this is just something I do every day before I send them back into their stall, uh, is I'll just spray them all over the place with uh, fly spray. Um, fly season is really bad right now during the summer. I almost got bit by a horse fly and so, you know, I figured if I don't want to live like that, neither do the horses, so I'd give them a good coat of fly spray. And this is the final result. I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep a lookout for the first ride coming sometime next week, hopefully. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all I got for you. Thank you for watching and goodbye. <laughs>